is what we've done at the INI. One of my students back in 2010 uh, struggled. He actually suffered in silence for a full semester. Uh, he felt like he didn't belong. He thought he was the only one struggling with the academic rigor at the INI at Carnegie Mellon. And he finally developed the courage to come to my office. And, and I just, I still remember he was uh, slouched over. He had his head down. And he was thinking very deeply. And then finally he looked up and he got the courage to ask the question. He said, did you admit me by mistake? And my heart sank in that moment, but I quickly responded. I'm like, no, of course I didn't. I remember your application. You belong here. There, you are just as qualified as every one of your classmates. Then why am I struggling, he said. Because everybody's struggling right now. It's the toughest semester. Everybody's going through this. And he said, really? Are you sure? I said, yes. I've been meeting with student after student going through this. It's not that you don't belong. It's, it, it is very competitive and a very rigorous curriculum. And he said, is it okay if I reach out to everybody? Of course it is. So he actually created a forum called DSLID, Don't Struggle Like I Did. It's student run. It's been a part. It's been institutionalized into the INI. Um, where every semester, at different parts of the semester, the students come together to share their struggles. And not just to talk about their uh, struggles, but to come together to identify strategies, to work together through those challenges with these strategies. They bring in professionals from Student Affairs or from the Counseling Center, from CAPS, uh, people from uh, some faculty to give them uh, some academic guidance. and. Uh, it's really great to see students willing to um, share their insecurities, pull each other up, and together uh, come out stronger.